Good afternoon, 47. Your target is Howard Moxon, an international antiquities trader who specializes in selling priceless art to finance terrorist organizations. He is currently involved in the sale of the Ivory White, a filigree egg looted during the Second World War. The client has requested that you both eliminate the target and locate and retrieve the original Ivory White. This priceless artifact is most likely in one of the museum's safes. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the Broker Elusive Target that's taking place in Paris for the next 10 days. So I'm going to show you three, three different methods for this one, as usual. The first method is going to be including a default loadout method if you haven't got any mastery levels in Paris, or you haven't got no equipment. Method one is going to be for you. I'll leave the timestamps in the description for that. Method two is going to be involving a micro taser, and method three is going to be using the emetic briefcase method. So for level one, what we are essentially going to need to do first and foremost is get into the basement. We're going to climb through there. We need to get, our, get ourselves a crowbar because we need to retrieve the ivory white egg. And because uh, it's, it's, it's locked in a safe, uh, the best bet is to get a crowbar. If you have a lockpick though, go ahead and bring, on the, bring that along with you. You won't have to go and get the crowbar then, but overall it really doesn't that matter that much. Once we're down here, there's going to be a stylist walking up the corridor. Now you can either choose to run past him, which I don't recommend because we need to take out a couple of other people to get a disguise. So I recommend just knocking him out right now. Pacify him with the, uh, the fire extinguisher. It's quicker. Dump him in the crate and go ahead and take his disguise. After we've put in the fire extinguisher back, we want to be nice and clean. Can't leave, be leaving mess around in Paris. Absolutely not. So put that disguise on and then we're going to head inside. So just to the right on a barrel is going to be a crowbar. Grab the crowbar. And the next room is going to be a security guard. Go ahead and knock him out. Going to retrieve that crowbar and the weapon. Take out the crowbar again. Knock out the tech crew. And we're going to hide both bodies as well. Just in case you were worried that the bodies might be found. Just go ahead and pop them in the crate. Uh, it takes no time at all. It doesn't really matter that much. Just go ahead and put them in the crate. We're going to basically take the tech crew disguise. And we're going to use this to our advantage. Perfect showcase for the disguise system really if you're new to the new to the game so go ahead and put that tech crew disguise on make sure you are picking up that crowbar as well so just follow where i'm going now so we're going to head back through this wine cellar through this section head through the exit there's going to be two waiters outside to go past them as we climb up the stairs uh, the target can be wandering see can be seen wandering around he is randomly around this area so don't be alarmed if he's not in that exact same area for you it doesn't matter. We're taking them out a little bit later on anyway. So first things at first, we're going to grab that screwdriver and we're going to head over to this uh, outlet, power outlet, just over here. What you need to do is an essential, turn that off. Absolutely turn that off before you do anything else. Turn that off and then expose the wire on this socket right here in the floor. So we're setting a trap, basically. We're waiting for this elusive target to come over and step onto this puddle over here. And then we're going to put the power on, on this power outlet, and he's going to get electrocuted for a nice little accident kill. So even if his body is found, it's not going to spoil your silent assassin rating. So he is going to be, like I said, he's going to be wandering around this area. It may take a quite a while for him to walk over this puddle, but rest assured, uh, he will do it. But what I want to do, honestly, wanted to uh, basically say as well, don't just turn this on and leave him to it, because there's going to be a photographer wandering around with a model and they will pass over this puddle if you are not keeping an eye on it. So just keep that in mind uh, about hang, hanging around this power outlet. Don't just turn it on and leave it because that's that's something that might happen. Other than that, you just gotta pretty much just wait here for him to pass over this puddle. He is going to do it eventually, it's just a matter of time and it's random, unfortunately, but it can take a couple of minutes, it can take five minutes, it can take 10 minutes. Just keep that in mind, but it's a very easy and simple way of taking out the target. So for me, that took quite a while. It took about seven minutes of waiting around, unfortunately. Uh, but he will eventually pass over this puddle, like I said. So then just go ahead and turn that on, and he'll get electrocuted just like that. Next thing we need to do is go and get our suit back on. And we're going to hop over to this little wall right here, head down these stairs, and enter back into the basement where we put the, uh, the stylist disguise in. He will be right next to this crate, so let's go and put that suit back on. So we need to have our suit back on. Now next, what we need to do is head up to the Iago auction. 
like I said, with that electrocution kill, that is indeed an accident kill, and even though his body is found and body bagged and stuff like that, it's not going to spoil your silent assassin rating. Don't worry about it. That's not how, that's just basically how accident kills and poison kills work. The bodies can be found and you'll still be able to retain your silent assassin rating. It's a really cool feature of the game. So we're not going to take the invitation upstairs because we don't want to, we want to keep our pistol. No, for not for any particular reason as such, but we do want to keep our weapons anyway. Don't like leaving any weapons around. So we're going to pass over this little fence right here and there's going to be a patrolling bodyguard hanging around the area. He might not be in this exact position for you, but if he is, just wait, or, wait for him to basically just circle around this building. Uh, you may as well not take any risks when it comes to this kind of thing. And it's only momentarily. You're going to have to wait anyway. But you'll see a pipe there right in the distance. That's what we're going to need to climb to get into the Iago auction party area. So we're just going to jog over here and climb the pipe all the way to the top. So the safe location itself is going to be in Darlin Margolis's room. And inside that room there's going to be two bodyguards, two Cicada security, security uh, NPCs to be specific. Now, what we need to do is take them both out because they're going to be in the way. Regardless if you have a key or not, or a lockpick or a crowbar, you are going to need to take them out. So we're going to climb over this railing right here and crawl along the ledge, enter the bathroom, stay crouched as we are in the bathroom, go ahead and turn that clock radio on, and then turn it back off once you get the prompt. Now we're going to hide over here by the closet. One of the guards are going to come in to investigate what he heard, and while he's doing that, we're going to shut the door behind him, and then knock him out with a crowbar. Once you've done that, leave the weapon on the floor, and we're going to come over here and put his body in the closet. Now, if Dahlia Margolis is nowhere near the room for you, keep an eye on the minimap. You might want to wait for her to come in and then leave before doing this, but if she's like far away from the room, go ahead and turn this uh, this tap on right here, and then turn it back off once it's started out to overflow. The next guard is going to come in then and see this weapon behind him, and while he's doing that, we're going to put our bodyguard disguise on, and then we're going to enter the room. He's no longer an enforcer, but we are going to wait for him to leave the room before we crack open this safe, close the door behind him, break open this safe right here, and grab the egg. Now that's two objectives complete. All we've got to do now is head to an exit. I'm going to come up out here and take the helicopter exit. We're using this disguise. So we're just going to hop over this little wall, crawl along this ledge here and slide all the way down the pipe. Now there's going to be a couple of enforcers on this helipad. So there's going to be one patrolling the er circling around the helicopter and one at the very front. So we're going to circle around clockwise and get behind the guard that's going to be the enforcer around here and we can take the exit you can take any exit you want to i just thought this is the shortest one closest one to it so you may as well take this exit in here considering you have the disguise already for it anyway but that's how you do method one for the default loadout if you don't have any weapons or equipment if you do have any weapons or equipment though method two might be best for you if you have the ICA remote remote rotator which you unlock in berlin bring along a lockpick as well and start undercover at the iago auction once you've started the Iago auction, what we're going to do is head straight into Dahlia Magolis' bathroom. We're going to take out the... Uh, retrieve the Ivory White first before we do anything else. And then we're going to head downstairs to take out Howard Moxon. So first things first, head into Dahlia Magolis' bathroom. It's going to be two Cicada security uh, NPCs in there. And what we're going to do is turn on this clock radio. Once you get the prompt again, turn it back off. That's going to distract one of the Cicada security guards. They're going to enter the bathroom and investigate what they heard. So once he comes in, wait for the door to close behind him, or just shut it behind him, and then go ahead and subdue him. Once we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and drag his body and stick him in the closet. And once we've done that, we're going to overflow this sink. Once it starts to overflow, go ahead and turn it off. I turned it off a little bit prematurely then, but never mind. Let's try again. There we go. That's going to distract the other guard that's in the room. He's going to see the weapon on the floor and he's going to take it away. It gives us a nice little period in between where Dahlia is not in the room and for us to quickly get the uh, the egg and then leave. So that's him gone. Now use the lockpick on the safe. 
So go ahead and do that. And grab the filigree egg. Once you've done that, we now completed one of the objectives. Now we need to go downstairs and actually go in to take out Howard Moxon. Be careful as you jump over this wall and try not to push that NPC. Yeah, I know it's uh, tempting, but try not to do that. Very easily done. So just make sure you are hopping over the wall. I'm going to head through here. I'm going to head towards Howard Moxon. So because we have the micro taser, no one's going to see you drop it in the puddle. And uh, another thing, problem with, that, with this though, this method though, is we have to do, we have to wait quite a while for the target to come over. It may, it may only take a minute or so. It may take two minutes. It may take five minutes. It may take ten minutes. It's random. But he will definitely walk over that puddle. So all we have to do is basically highlight from our inventory and just go ahead and drop it out of our inventory. Otherwise, just take it out and just drop it with the D-pad button. But we're essentially just going to wait for him to cross that puddle and then we're going to activate it and detonate it. But I will say those who don't detonate it early because there is a photographer and a model roaming around the area and you don't want to just electrocute it and leave it because one of them might get electrocuted and you might take out a non-target for a... Uh, a non-target kill and that will ruin your silent assassin rating so just keep that in mind so we're just going to wait patiently for howard moxon to cross that puddle and then we're going to set off the trigger so after about four ish minutes he comes over to this puddle right here he has a phone call right next to the puddle so we're going to take this opportunity and use the electrocution uh, remote right now so go ahead and activate it and he will step on it and that'll take him out for an electrocution accident kill and uh, just like I said in method 1, it's going to be an accident kill, so even if his body is found, it's not going to spoil your silent assassin rating. Don't worry about it. So we're going to head straight to an exit now, so we're going to take the main exit, because um, it's probably the safest method, safest bet, really, for an exit, really, for this mission, because there's no enforcers in between. So you're better off just heading straight to this exit over here. But yeah, it's a very straightforward, simplest method out of, um, well, I'll say equally... Method 2 and Method 3 are pretty much equal in terms of easiness. But that is essentially how you do it in Method 2 if you have the Micro Taser. And indeed a lockpick. And the start location, of course. Now for Method 3, we're going to start in the Palace Garden. And we're going to bring along a briefcase and have the remote emetic gas device to sort stored inside it. And we'll bring along a lockpick as well. Once the mission starts up, we're going to go straight into our inventory and take out the remote gas device. Immediately conceal the gas device back into the briefcase. That way you can actually set off the gas grenade a grenade inside of the briefcase. So you won't get caught or anything like that. So we're going to find Howard Moxon now. And he usually spawns around this area over here. So we're going to take an opportunity once we've, he's away from any other NPCs. And then we're going to go ahead and gas him once he, we get next, right next to him. Next we're going to drop the briefcase. We don't, know, don't need that anymore. So what he's going to do is head straight to the bathroom and puke up in the bathroom. And we're going to take that opportunity and drown him, pretty much. And uh, that's going to be another accident kill. His guard is going to see his body and find his body. But uh, as I said in the first two methods, once his body is found, it's not going to spoil your silent assassin rating because it is indeed an accident kill. So go ahead and drown him. And then leave him there once you're done. Now we just need to head on upstairs to go and get the uh, the egg itself. So the best bet to do that is probably just go around the back and climb up the pipe to the wards at Iago Auction. There's an enforcer out here, just be weary of that. Just make sure you are aware of your surroundings when you're going through certain areas. But as I said there, body found, but don't worry about it. It's an accident kill. It's not going to spoil your son assassin rating. It's all fine and dandy. Just jump over this little fence here. Just be wary of all the guards that might be patrolling around the area. So keep an eye on your minimap specifically next we're going to climb up this pipe all the way to the top and enter the iago auction party area so if you were wondering where the key is dahlia magoldis actually has the key on her for the safe but it is simply not worth the trouble of trying to get that key because you will essentially have to take out three people and then including her as well so there'll be four people overall just to get the key and it just simply isn't worth it when you've got a lock pick or a crowbar so just like we did in the previous two methods we're going to enter the bathroom the same way we're going to turn on this clock radio once you get the prompt turn it back off and then hide behind the closet a security guard is going to come in to investigate we're going to close the door behind him and we're going to go ahead and subdue him 
Once we've done that, we're going to put his body in the nearby closet. Now, Dahlia Magolis and her uh, followers just entered the room. They're going to have a quite a long conversation purely because we're right next to the room. And the conversations usually tend to trigger when we're in the vicinity. So unfortunately, you just have to kind of wait for this to play out overall. But because we're watching the video, we've got the benefit of editing. So I'll skip that out. So it's a longer conversation than you actually might think. So what we're going to do now, once I've left the room, is go ahead and overflow the sink. Once it starts to overflow, go ahead and turn it back off. That's just to prevent any other people getting distracted by it. The guard's going to come in, see the weapon on the floor, and he's going to take it away. That leaves the room completely empty for us to head on in. Go ahead and use the lockpick on the safe and grab the egg from in, out, inside the safe. Wait a couple of seconds after you take the egg because the suspicion is a little bit weird with this. And then you can leave the room. Because for a couple of seconds or so, the whole map turns uh, turns a load of everyone in NPC into an enforcer for some reason. Um, this happened before in 2016 as well in Hitman 1. So just wait a second or two before you leave the room. Otherwise, you might get a lot of aggravation. But essentially, once we've done that, we're going to head straight to an exit. This is a silent assassin suit only method as well. Just to keep that in mind, I forgot to mention at the start. But yeah, this is indeed a silent assassin suit only. Just be careful when you enter through this door, though. There's going to be security guards that are looking at you straight away. So just keep that in mind. But you can indeed take any exit you want to. You don't have to take this one either. But I'll just try to pick a different exit for everyone just to keep things, things spicy. Just be careful when you pass through here as well, making sure the chefs are looking the other way before you exit the, through that door. And then we're going to take the exit here, making sure that chef is looking the opposite direction too. Again, you might find this exit a little bit more tricky, but if you do are thinking this is a little bit too risky, then just go ahead and enter the way you were the start of the mission. So go ahead and take the main entrance for the exit. But that's essentially how you do the broker elusive target three easy silent assassin methods there let me know your thoughts in the comments what your favorite method was which one did you use what do you think of the broker did you did you enjoy the broker or not i'm interested to find out hopefully you uh, this video helped you out as well drop a like if it did subscribe if you wanted to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams consider supporting me on patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description and i thank you very much for all the support recently i really do appreciate it thank you very much for watching cheers